Troop County seeing the brunt of the damage from this line of storms. We are told one person in LaGrange was struck by lightning. Fox 5's Eric Perry has been in that area all evening taking a look at the damage. Eric joins us now live with the latest. Eric. Yeah, Courtney, Tom, we're still working to learn more information about that person that was struck by lightning there. As far as the debris and the damage, we saw many trees over roadways. We saw limbs on top of roofs, but many I talk with say they are grateful because they know this could have been worse. It sounded like a freight train, as people always said. Strong storms rolled through Troop County Wednesday afternoon, leaving a trail of trees behind. It made a pretty, pretty loud crash on the house. It was kind of, kind of uh, hectic out here. So a lot of wind. Most of the damage in the Hogansville area, where limbs fell into Michael Dunnigan's home. Thankfully, he's okay and nothing went through his roof. Just grab some solid cover and hang on. Just about two miles away, power crews worked meticulously to cut trees that had fallen onto power lines. Officials say one person in LaGrange was struck by lightning. No word on their condition. Many of those trees falling into Highway 54, a major artery for those in the area. I normally come in off of 54, but there was a tree down and they had it blocked. So I went around on the other side of 54 that was blocked and all roads were blocked. But the artist white lives off Melson Road and found things out of place. So I start looking around and I seen where things were missing and blue from where they were and a bunch of damaged trees and trees that fell down here and fell down there and things were just tossed around. It, it, it don't look the same around here. I put it that way. And he had to jump into action after his cat Peaches needed help rescuing her kittens thrown about by the winds stuck and couldn't get out. And through the chaos and storm, White says it was a sense of community as many grabbed chainsaws and went to work clearing trees. They attacked those trees. Um, I, I don't think the trees probably were down a, a good hour and a half and they got right to them. As first responders continue to survey the damage, many here know they are lucky because it could have been worse. You know, just hug your family and hug people you know and, and love and just because you just don't know, you know, a storm comes just like that and it's all over. Yeah, and that was really the sentiment from everyone. It kind of came all at once there. Again, we're working to learn more information about whoever was struck by that lightning, their condition. But that's the only injuries that we're hearing about tonight and really no major structural damage here either. A lot of lucky people here in Troop County. I'm Eric Perry, Fox 5 News.